Hi, right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are here at Winding Rivulet just to um, test an old spot here. Really, what I'm doing is just wanting to catch a few sh few fish here at Winding, and ultimately, when it gets to be nighttime, we're going to go test out that Crucian Gibble Trophy spot at um, at Mosquito. Now that we have fluorocarbon leaders. I think it's worth trying it out. So if we can just catch a few fish here at winding, um, then that will help. The reason why I'm here at winding is we came and purchased a bunch of bait materials. You see that we are now, we now have 438 pieces of semolina and a thousand wheat seeds. So a lot of wheat seeds and semolina to use, <laughs> but um, we're getting close. Harvesting baits is 34.4, and 35 unlocks magical garlic dough, which hopefully will uh, will be good if the bream are still biting at Old Berg, which it seems that they've moved. Is what I'm hearing and what I've experienced, but I don't know that they have completely left yet, nor if their bait change has necessarily changed that much. So we're going to be hopeful that we can still get in on some of that action in the next couple episodes as we hit garlic dough. Assuming that we can buy the ingredients for garlic dough, which we should be able to, but don't quote me on that. So let's go broom variant, because that's the most sort of basic thing we have. Um, let's do a little bit larger hook with, uh, well, speaking of wheat seeds, let's just see what happens with wheat seeds. I'm going to take the clip all the way off because for right now we're just going to be short casting it sort of around this around this branch this, this fallen tree or whatever and we want to try a variety of things we'll go with a six on this one as well and I do think we should try I think we should try maggots on at least one so again let's take the clip off short cast it right over there and see what we can get And on this one, let's just try good old worms. So the history of this spot has been, uh, occasionally this is a really good spot for catching chub. However, at its best, it was uh, by using the baits grasshoppers, which is not something that we have right now. So we're just going to sort of throw different things in there, see if anything is interested in biting. Maggots, which is probably the most reliable here. Let's see what we've gotten. Might be a little, little white bream, which is nice. I stopped by the cafe on the way down. I think there was a little white bream order, so we'll keep an eye on that. And now worms, which also should be pretty reliable. That's a chub. Casting those a little too far. And we will give wheat seeds a little bit more of a chance, and we'll switch it to something else. Maybe we'll try semolina here. Wheat seeds may not be particularly good for anything in this spot. <clears throat> Another thing we could try is casters. Would be interested to see how casters do. Probably pretty well if maggots and worms are doing good. It is getting something is really nibbling at it. It really is a long time for wheat seeds to not have anything so just for fun let's do try semolina just try 
variety of things in this spot. Let's see what was nibbling at our maggots. Another white bream. Wow. We should probably go maggots three across and catch those white bream. Although it is possible that casters would catch them as well. trigger on Semolina pretty fast because I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical how well it will do. Semolina seems like it needs a rejuvenation as a bait. It hasn't felt up to par in a long time. guess is this is a chub the way it uh, pulled pretty good at the beginning there it's got a little fight to it let's make sure we're not getting tangled in anything here and let's pull this fish up and out looks like a chub to me but I could be wrong no that's a chub so chub do still tend to seem to be in this spot. Um, and back when I made the video about this spot, and that's been months ago, grasshoppers was the number one thing. But I remember back then even saying that if you don't have grasshoppers, maggots really do work pretty well. And it seems like that is still the case. And uh, even worms here, really slow. Let's put casters in. It's very strange for for worms to not get a bite quicker than that. And if nothing is on on Semolina here, we are changing that for sure. Might be interesting to try pearl barley, but I think I'm going to go maggots too, and then we'll see how casters do. Maggots are too interesting right now to not just go full on maggots with the between the white bream and the chub. I think that's pretty exciting. Alright, looks like Casters is getting some action here. Steady pull like that probably means that it is hooked. Oh, that's got some good size to it. There are... Oh, it's an eyed. Now that's fun. That is fun. Something that maggots might not attract as much, but the casters did. Regular bream. You know, just so that we can know, I'm going to test pearl barley here. We won't test it for long, but it may attract the little bream species. Yeah, it's weird because now regular bream are so suddenly biting. A little late in the day, but it's raining. Temperature's fairly low. That might be why. 
late in the morning, I mean. Let's see if Pearl Barley actually does much, though. I think we probably want to head at about 1,400, 1,500 to Mosquito to get set up for that other spot, make sure we've got the right baits. Oh, and I did go for maggots. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking this little spot right now to be this good throughout the day so far, or the morning at least. It'll slow down after noon probably, but... The bite rate seems nice. And the variety of fish species, some of which pay out pretty well, especially for this level. We've got something on maggots again. Oh, wow. We're going to manhandle this chub. And we did see, back in the day on grasshoppers at least, we did see some trophy chub here. Which a trophy chub would give these little, uh, these rigs a little bit of a run for their money, I would think. There is pearl barley. I was just about to pick it up to change it. And now it looks like it might be getting a bite, so let's hold off on that. Some nibbles. Might be an eyed again. I'm going to check it. So it's just getting lots of nibbles right now. to be bent over like that and actually not be a full-blown fish just a bite that's strange to me I keep checking because the eyed have a tendency of sometimes getting on there and just kind of gobbling your bait up before you know it it's gone but that it's not been the case it's actually just there's no fish on I think there's a fish on the middle line right now, but I hate to keep messing with him. No circles in the water, so maybe not. definitely slowing down it seems we do have this little spot here we could um, just try to catch some roach gibbles and crucians and stuff out of yeah I knew there was a fish on this line watch it'll be an eyed or a chub. Huh. I'm going maggots times two. Just too slow. We need more bites. Casters on there a little longer.
Roach. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with just catching anything right now before we go back to Mosquito. that what is this, up with all these nibbles maybe it's the chub that's notorious for this more than just the eyed So, we're not that far away from heading back. Let's see if we can get one more fish here. We'll run by the cafe just in case. I doubt we've gotten... We better start pulling in. I want to get make sure we're good and set up for this Crucian Gibble spot. So the uh, Crucian Gibble spot is not at this point at level 15. We're not necessarily doing this for silver or experience. Although if there's a cafe order or if it's bite, you know, really fast bite rate, it might be okay silver. Uh, this is more of just a. Ooh, wait a minute. Doing this is more of just a um, the excitement of trying to catch trophies at a low level is really what it would be more about. We're getting reconnected and have to log back in. That's strange. That is strange. Uh, one second.
All right, let's check on the cafe. What I'd like to do is go ahead and get our line set up in case we want to purchase a, um, we had one in the white green category. In case we want to uh, purchase a hook or anything. All right, so 30 silver. I guess the other thing we could do is buy more bait to level up bait stuff, but first let's check this out. All right, so we're gonna be using Gibble. On this one, let's do the old school way. Hot Cherry 16 size one hook. Now, I recently saw can't use a rusty hook in fact let's um, let's go ahead and delete that I have to do it from the inventory on the forum somebody talking about strawberries 15 and then what do we want to do on this one I think what I want to do on this one is back to intense I'm sorry hot cherry but with a little smaller hook okay and I think we're fine with these hook sizes so that means we can afford let's see let's see if we can afford three Oh yeah, easily. Semolina. Milk. And sugar. Let's see if we get any points here. See how close we can get. Before we head to Mosquito. That is a bummer. Six. So if we hit it here, it's possible if we get 0.2% that we could just be one or two ingredients off. All right, 34.8. So let's get one more of each. We definitely don't want to over, over make semolina since semolina doesn't seem super strong right now. Uh, but we've got so much wheat grain that I didn't want to do more of that either. And I think Semolina is actually hitting at a higher percentage on the leveling up. So I don't think we got it. We got 0.1%. So we need at least one more. make garlic dough and cheese cubes this is huge so let's check the recipes garlic dough wheat flour garlic and sunflower oil and cheese cubes we just need cheese so the question is can you make cheese cubes from cheese that is here why is it timing out operation so from melted cheese think you can right I guess it's worth double checking though I was trying to see if there's any other cheese that's sold here all right there's the sunflower oil we know we need that okay so let's see if we can make garlic dough first and then we'll test the cheese okay garlic and wheat flour all right, garlic. Okay, there's wheat flour. There's garlic. And there's sunflower oil. Okay, we just really need to not fail this. Because <laughs> we'll at least have... All right, we made it. 
Okay, so we've got 33 pieces of garlic dough now. Let's test cheese before we head to, um, what is this, marshmallows? Before we head to mosquito. Nope, okay. So you have to have a different kind of cheese. There's no cheese here, right? Okay. All right. Is it the cheese that you get at Cory? So maybe you're level locked from cheese cubes until you get to Cory? I think you are level locked on making cottage cheese dough until you get to Cory, if I remember correctly. So maybe it's that way on cheese cubes as well. Or maybe they sell it at Old Berg. I don't know. We'll have to experiment further with this. Let's look in the grocery store here and then we'll run out to our spot. Wait, grocery store. see anything else here and what's in the cafe nothing that's gonna really benefit us from where we're fishing right now unfortunately all right so let's give this a try for science pretty exciting though this means next episode we can Try to do some garlic dough bream experiments. We could do it here, but more likely we'll go back to Old Berg. Somebody left a comment on my last video, maybe, or maybe the one before that, on a spot to try for bream at Old Berg, so we'll maybe check out that one and some other stuff. Anybody remember what we were clipping over here? It might be 20. We'll see what that looks like. Way too far. Let's say it's more like 15 or something. We'll see what 15 looks like. Too far. Might have been ten. Might have been eight. <laughs> ten looked okay though. I can live with ten, I think. All right. Let's see if any of this works. So, to review, what did I just do? Okay, I don't know. Alright, let's see what we've got on here before we review, I guess. If this is a good bite rate, we could run out of boilies, by the way. Is that a gibble? Yeah, it's a nice gibble. Okay. To review, first up we've got what was working on my main account. Not the exact same uh, liter, we were actually using like a 3.4 liter or either just straight 3.4 fluorocarbon line, something like that. But Crucian Gibbler Garp Mix, Carp Mix uh, a large one hook and Hot Cherry 16 boilies. On the second line, we have Old Pal Strawberries 15 with a much smaller hook, 12, same ground bait. And on the third hook, sort of the middle ground, 8 hook, like smart Hot Cherry 16 boilies again, same line and leader. 
it's early. Typically, you want to start this at about 2100, but I wanted to sort of see the evolution of the spot as we get into prime time. See if we notice a big uh, increase of size. We started off with a nice marker here, 7.63. For funsies, let's uh, check and see on Crucian and Gibble what our largest ones are. So Crucian, we've got a 1.629, not too far away from Trophy. And Gibble, 1.895, also not too far away from Trophy. But we are still at zero trophies on this account. So this could be the night that that changes. All right, this is the old pal strawberries and seems to have caught a crucian. No trophy, but a nice little, little crucian. We're going to take this down to clipping of 10, by the way. And you can cast it anywhere, not anywhere, but really you can go in around sort of halfway between the grass and the shore or a little closer to the grass. It's typically where I've seen the most success. Where, what we have used in the past in this spot that has worked great has just been bread. And of course that is a very inexpensive bait to make so if you're low level if you haven't watched the earlier videos just making bread and fishing for crucian and gibbles especially through the nighttime hours is a great way early on to get some quick money and experience and for your gear you'll feel like you're catching pretty nice sized fish and as long as this spot stays hot I would recommend it it will change over time. It'll uh, get better and worse uh, at different times, but I was going to try to mark this so I remember it. Because I don't use this spot very often, so I would like to use our map app. To update this spot we are at 3549 which is going to be over here somewhere and this is crucian gibble trophy strawberry 15 hot cherry let's see I always forget what it's called is it 16 yeah hot cherry 16 and there was another one but I'd have to look clip 10 um Crucian, Gibble, Ground Bait, Overnight, Feeder, Save. Very good. So it's been a very slow bite rate. Let's see what we got here. This is on hot cherry on the nice large hook. That's what we that's what we want to see. Good size fish. So it's 20, 20 is the time that this thing. This looks like a gibble actually. It's no, it's no trophy, but it's a big one. 1.4. Oh, you know what? Let's um let's take this clip down. So it's really, in terms of hook size, it's probably most fair to, to compare the second and third rod in the sense that they have similar hook sizes. One of them has the old pal strawberry and one has the cherry. I 
just don't remember what the other bait was off the top of my head. I think I talked about it in one of the earlier videos, though, so if you want to look back. There's another bait besides Hot Cherry 16 that was working really good over here. It actually might still be on the weeklies, but it may not. Let's look real quick at um, Christian and Gibble weeklies. Oh, look at this. P. Semolina. Okay, we ought to try that. Worm cream brulee so all kinds of different stuff now it seems to be working coconuts and cream 16 so it looks like a wide range oatmeal let's see what we catch on what we have first but then maybe we'll put oh my goodness keep getting disconnected i don't know what's going on but then we'll try uh semolina maybe maybe this is where semolina shines and if it is, then we could put semolina three across. And uh, at this point, we have so much semolina that would be efficiency-wise. If it works good, that'd be a good thing to do. So hopefully, we can get out there pretty quick. We're coming up on prime time on Crucian and Gibbles. You know what? Let's eat real quick. If our comfort would just come up. Oh, you know what we were going to do? We were going to get... I was going to get... Um, oh, it's too close to when we last used the kitchen. We were going to get uh, like a couple sodas. So we could... Um, what's the cheapest alcohol that will help our comfort? Alright. A couple sodas so that we could um, do a little more digging dig a little more aggressively look at the f is that fog out on the lake that's awesome I love when the weather affects it kind of give you some variety of what you're looking at still should be um, clipped appropriately. I can't tell you how badly I want to try the semolina, but kind of think that at least for the beginning of the overnight hours I do want to see a good test on these sort of proven baits although it looks like they're not you know if you look at the weeklies other things seem to be working just as well if not better so all right so we can help our comfort a little bit help our energy a little bit and then we should be able to dig a good bit We won't go super fast because we didn't do if you ever like eat cheese and you know drink a coffee or coke or whatever the two of those together really makes a difference all right so this is old pal strawberry here looks like a good start So we do still have the fish that we had caught before. And notice, you know, one of the things that's nice about this spot and these baits, we don't have any undersized fish so far. Quick bites on strawberry.
I don't think I ever purchased any peas, did I? No, not yet. We need to do that, though. They're occasionally pretty nice as we get a little better gear and can handle some bigger carp. It's not a bad idea to use peas and potatoes every once in a while. As you see by now, we would have had um, energy issues without drinking the, the Coke. Wears off in a minute or two, so we'll get some digging in while we can. That's a small one. It's amazing. So if you, um, it, I mean, obviously the time to do this would be even lower level than we are because when we do hit the worm or red worm or whatever, we're not going to get points in crafting baits, most likely. But if you do, if you drink a soda like that early when you're first leveling it up, it really speeds up the process for you. Okay, there's a decent crucian. Got a point in bottom fishing as well. Yeah, I think Old Pal Strawberry is working pretty nice. Maybe even a little bit better than the hot cherry that used to work so good. Maybe that things have changed a little bit. We did get a point in harvesting baits there, but it took a lot of attempts. She's starting to come down a little bit now. So it looks like the soda has worn off. Maybe. See those red worms. Thirty five point five. So when you get red worms up oh, there's energy. We'll stop now. 
when you get red worms, you're, you are, I mean, red worms tend to be pretty good, so um, you're going to get to points where you're going you're to purchase red worms from the store, especially at Volkov, where they're readily accessible. But every one you dig, you, it's, you know, it's one you're not having to purchase. I just really feel like that the energy went up so fast, the coke must still be in effect a little bit. We were just digging so fast, we got in front, got in front of it a little bit. So the main difference in our current setups and what I would do on my main account when I came here for trophies, what is that we had smaller fluorocarbon line or leader zone on, on my main account. And besides that, we're pretty much duplicating and it does seem like, at least right now, the bite rate's a good bit slower. We'll see around 3 or 4 a.m. if it suddenly spikes again. We should get a bite or two between now and then, but... If it doesn't get better soon, I may go ahead and switch that front line. I think that front line's only caught one fish. And that's the one that has the large hook, and that just may be too much right now. Let's check everything. How fast that energy is going up. We're still getting the effects of that soda. I, I don't remember how how long it stays in effect, but it's it's been a while now. cast at least one of these seem like that went in the grass
Alright, let's do something. It's just too slow. Let's try Simolina. The other thing that I think would be worth trying if you're going to test this spot yourself is maybe going down to 16 hooks or something like that. That's promising. So on my stream, we've been, uh, I guess starting yesterday, we're trying to level up float fishing a little bit, which is the type of fishing I do the least of in this game, and trying to find some of the better spots to do that in, and some of the better equipment to use. We have a uh, free meal waiting for us up at Mosquito, so I don't think I'm going to eat any more while we're here. All right, let's do... Let's do a smaller hook and just try bread. Just need to catch some fish if possible. Is the strawberry boilies. It's a nice one. Semolina's got something on there. And 
if I was staying here a second a night, a second night, I think I would do semolina three across. Look how big that one is. Two point four trophy. So our first trophy on our free to play account is a nice fatty crucian carp. Semolina. And that's a weekly record. Alright, let's switch it over real quick. Let's get a couple of semolinas going. It's kind of humorous after all that. We found a use for our semolina. <laughs> so we now have a trophy. Semolina again. Should be pretty good till about 8 or 9 a.m. If it's like it used to be. Something's on the boily. Let's see if it really takes it. Semolina is, uh, well, now both of them are going. It's a little fella. Why is this one getting roach and the other one's not? That's strange. So the bite rate on the semolina is outpacing the boily at least two to one and the 
semolina is also where we got our trophy but we're catching roach and more variety in sizes on the semolina as well So this tells me that semolina really should work pretty well in that pond area at Old Berg with all the crucians and gibbles in there. Occasionally they'll catch roach. over a kilo. Seems like it's getting much more consistently small now. Not that you want to occasionally have a big one come out, but you're kind of back into regular size here. So let's get one or two more fish and then we'll wrap this one up and see how we did at the fish market. The boilie might be getting another bite there. Definitely semolina is. Well, we certainly will have earned enough to travel back to Old Berg. So that next time we can test out the garlic dough, we got about 33 fish there and a lot of them came late. There was some real dead time between what 13 and 21 minutes ago. We had some really slow time. So those overnight hours not producing, at least with the boilies we were using, not producing as many fish might be interesting to try semolina overnight now that we know semolina can pull in the trophies pretty well as as also 
But I think I will be ready next episode to start taking advantage of the fact that we can make garlic dough. Once we are at Oldberg, we'll maybe uh, grab a couple more stacks so that we can make some uh, couple, few more pieces of garlic dough, a few more ground bait pieces, and uh, we'll see how see if we can get on the bream. All right, let's double check the cafe. So this crucian order came in, but we were one short. All right. So 67 silver, not bad. The trophy will be on top. Almost 15, or 14 silver for a trophy crucian. So pretty good. That helps. That'll get us back to Old Berg and hopefully get us fish and bream. Let's see if we can get on some little better money, a little better experience uh, spots. But this was definitely fun. Let's get some food before we starve here. Okay. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.